Hey, let me show you how I had this cool idea and then it all went to crap. Welcome to the channel. I'm gonna be trying to make one of these acrylic molds like you see on YouTube and stuff like that. I got this laminated piece of plywood. I'm gonna put some wax on it. Then we'll put our mold on here. We'll put some stuff in it. We'll put some epoxy on it. And see how that turns out. It says that epoxy won't stick to wax. So I'm gonna go with that. We'll just see what happens. Put a good coat of wax on it. It may not stick to this laminated plywood either, but we're gonna make sure we don't have no stickage. All right, we'll let that dry and put a mold on there. Should be ready. If you watched my other video, I made these concrete papers and I used this like, it's like garden bed lining. It's really thick. I think this will work good for epoxy too. So I think anyways. I'm going to do it something like that. I really just want to make it so I can hang it on my wall. Kind of like that. I think that'd be fine. I think I'm going to take some caulk and, you know, put it on the inside and the outside around it so it won't leak out. I'm going to do that and put some stuff in it and fill it with epoxy and cross our fingers. All right, the only thing I could find was some white caulk, so we're going to use that. I'm going to put a good bead around the outside. This is a first for me. I've never done this, but I think it's going to work. Tell you what, what can't you fix with a little caulk? If you have some caulk and some duct tape and some zip ties, you can build pretty much anything. All right, it looks like it's sealed up good to me, so... We'll let that sit for about 30 minutes and we should be ready. When I made that concrete mold video, I had like 37 subscribers. Now I have like 57, so we're growing. If anybody watching has like any projects they would like to see me do, just hit me up in the comments and I'll, I'll see what I can do with it. Okay, let's put some stuff in it. I do window tint for a living. So I'm gonna put some window tint tools in it and then I fish a lot. I'm going to put some old baits that I have in there too. And I got my, got my YouTube card. Put that in there. Then we'll fill it with some epoxy. Put my YouTube card right in the middle. I'll put my tent tool right here. This is a good way to use old baits. You can just put them in some epoxy and then make your little decoration out of it. Let me put that like right there. Got a little swim bait. I put that there. Got a worm. I'll wrap it around my. There we go. Perfect. Got a little jig here. Hey, I made this jig. I cast the mold and everything. Custom. Put it right. Put it right there. Got some hooks. Put one here. Maybe right there. My tent razor blades, stack those in there. I think that's gonna look cool. My wife bought this epoxy countertop kit that she was going to use in her old house, you know, redo the bathroom countertops and stuff like that. She never did. So guess what? It's mine now. I'm just gonna dump all this in a bucket. It looks kind of milky. Maybe it's still good. Have you ever prized epoxy? They like that stuff. Maybe to dry clear. <laughs> if not, we'll just have a hazy look to it. Be neat. All right, we got epoxy. Now we need to put our activator in it. Golly. Got a little force behind those things. I didn't read the directions, okay? I think you just mix one part to one part. I've had this stuff for about three years. <laughs> oh, maybe it's still good. I, I, don't, I don't throw anything away. I like watching all those Alaskan shows, like on National Geographic, like that Life Below Zero and Port Protection and stuff like that. They don't throw nothing away. I think I would do great up there. I don't throw nothing away either. You never know when you're going to need something. And voila, I needed it for a video, so... 
Okay, I think I got way too much epoxy, but I don't know how long it takes this to set up. I'll mix it good. You think this is going to work? It looks kind of milky to me, but maybe to dry clear. Maybe an epic disaster. You never know until you try, you know. Okay, just going to pour it in there now. I guess I'll just pour it in the middle. It should flow over. Well, it looks milky to me. I'm hoping it dries clear. My little swim bait's floating. Let's get back in there. Maybe should have glued them to the wood. I've seen online where they take a blowtorch to the top of it. May try that. Maybe it won't catch on fire. I'm going to have to keep working these baits in there until it gets a little thicker, I think. Can't have nothing. Like a milk soup right now. Baits. <laughs> Taking these out. Hey, don't use baits because they float. Let me find something else I can throw in there. Got a couple more jigs I'll throw in there. feel like they're swimming in the epoxy. Man, yeah, I like it. I guess I'm gonna let that sit up a little bit and we'll check back and see if it's clear or not. It looks kind of hazy right now. Don't know how long it's gonna take to sit up. You talking about a fail. This is a fail. Freaking three-year-old resin don't work. Give me a break. Hey, would you look at that? I like that old Bassmaster guy. I didn't put three of my good jigs in there. <laughs> you tell the people you're gonna make a cool project and then it all goes to crap. Can't have nothing. Let's make a resin project, okay. Been saving that resin for three years and it don't work. Maybe I should have done more research. Hey, don't do any more resin projects. Done, I'm done with this. Let me show you crap. Take that. Yeah. How didn't you work, huh? What's the problem? Maybe we got too much humidity in the air. Freaking poured you, and you're supposed to turn clear. Thought, why didn't you turn clear? Freaking milk soup here. Anybody want this? Hey, thank you for watching and subscribe, please, and I'll catch you next time. Maybe we'll have better luck.